So what is it? Are you gonna say this anything? Is... It says right here on the box. Oh. So I'll just show you guys. It is a Haldex controller from Van De Veer Engineering. So what this does is this plugs in before like, it's like a piggyback system. It plugs in before like the wires are going to the Haldex. So this is changing what the Haldex sees and we can control when the car goes into all wheel drive or front wheel drive and we can change like exactly um, like for instance at the drag strip I'm probably gonna set it up to where up to like 40 or 50 miles per hour it'll be an all-wheel drive and then past that it's just gonna be front wheel drive because the car likes to uh, when you're flooring it from um, launch control the car likes to lock itself into all-wheel drive until um, the load is let off like at the end of the track and we do not need that that is just drivetrain loss to the rear wheels so once we switch to front wheel drive it should increase trap speeds and um, yeah lower ETs so we'll have to see about that that's my theory and we can do front wheel drive burnout because when we pull the e-brake um, we can set it up to only go into front wheel drive mode and do a burnout at the track. Let's get those front tires a little stickier. So uh, let's go set it up and uh, try it out. So I'm in my car now. <laughs> and we are gonna pop the cap off the uh, like secondary fuel pump here because this is where the wires are that we need to connect to. So can Should you show them this? Here's like the fuel pump one, and this is the all wheel drive. Probably gonna need a screwdriver to open that. So it should be as simple as plugging one end Then the other, <clears throat> and see how this is intercepting the signals the Haldex is getting. So now I'll just mount this somewhere um, later on. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. And this, if you have like a, a, like a seat back here. I know people can like cut out a section of the foam. I have my back seats removed so it doesn't matter for me. I'm just gonna mount it back here. But yeah, that's all there is to in that's all there is to installing it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's take a look at the app. So guys, we're, we're in the app now and we can look at all the different ways we can control how the Haldex works. So pass through, that's just gonna run it like your stock Haldex controller. We can also turn it off and um that should be like it should be like my gti just spinning everywhere no haldex no all-wheel drive um lock we can just completely lock it 50 50 if we wanted to um throttle um you could say 50 percent throttle you want to lock it into all-wheel drive but i think the way i'm gonna run it is speed that makes the most sense for me i'm gonna here i'll show you my settings here um, it's going to be 50-50 till about, till about 50 miles per hour or so, and then it's going to slowly, uh, it's going to lean it off after that. And I think that will be very beneficial at the track. So we'll have to go test that out. And then you can make a whole, um, you can make a whole map, like, like the throttle and your speed and stuff. This is something I'm going to have to look at later and then the boost you know you just turn it on at the specific boost that you want but uh yeah when i put it in when i pull the parking brake you can see it turns that on the like little parking brake light on and that should lock it into uh 
front wheel drive for a burnout, so we'll have to test that out as well. I haven't watched it in a little while, so let's do a little test here and in speed mode and see how it feels. to off this is what mode will be in like at higher speeds but since i'm at low speeds and it's turned off it should spin like the gti so let's try it out oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. it was spinning the uh, trash can controls kicking in and you could hear the tire uh the tires chirping uh that brings back memories Another one that was fun. <laughs> That's funny. It feels so weird in this car. I'm just so used to it gripping. But I think that's really gonna help um, like in fourth gear and up because we're not losing any of that drivetrain loss sending power to the back wheels. Wheels, It's all gonna go right to the front and, and we should have no problem uh, gripping at those speeds. And if we do, I can just adjust it and, um, and uh, turn on Haldex, or turn off Haldex at higher speeds and then should be good to go. Oh, and let's, and uh, I'm gonna get back to you in a little bit and we'll try out the uh, burnout. Just put it on a little patch of dirt so we don't hurt the transmission, but um, I'm just gonna do a quick little burnout and test it. It should just only move the front wheels. So uh, yeah, let's try it out. I pulled the parking brake. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.